journey. I'm just doing a very quick update. Went and saw my nutritionist today, and oh my gosh, I absolutely love her. Love her. Um, she, she and I speak the same language. Um, it was it. It's really nice. So, I am 224 today. You know, I weigh myself at home, but I weigh myself naked, and I'm like 220. But at the doctor's office, I have clothes on, obviously. So, anyway, but I'm really proud of that. And then we, the thing that we talked about today was how yesterday I ate two handfuls of chips and stopped myself, and then I would beat myself up for about three or four hours, and I wasn't going to eat dinner, and I was going to starve myself the rest of the day, and, and then I had to stop and say, Kayla, first of all, you used to eat the whole bag of chips. Did you eat the whole bag of chips? No. You ate a handful or two. You're okay. You need to go eat dinner and fill your body with fuel. And so we were talking about how that is a huge thing um, that I kept beating myself up until this morning. And then that's when I was like, you only had a couple handfuls. It's okay. And so um, I, I just really was grateful. And she just said, re reiterated me that, reiterated, I think, I don't know, whatever that word is insert it here. Uh, she basically said, this is a lifestyle. You need to not look at it as a diet. And if you do look at it as a diet, then you're going to fail because diets are meant for temporary. They're bad for you. The whole time you're on a diet, you're only thinking of you can't, 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 can't. This is a lifestyle change. You need to learn to live your life in the parameters we've set up. And an occasional handful of chips is not going to hurt you. It's not going to kill you. It's actually probably better that you admit that you have them and you have them than to beat yourself up and then say, well, I've already done bad today. I might as well do more, you know, more bad. So I really liked that. I also liked that she you know, she had me make up a plan of what happens the next time because it's gonna happen. Nobody's perfect. What is gonna happen when we are faced with this again? And I just, I liked that. So I just wanted to let you know that that's my update. Um, the next time I'm going to um, her is right before my cruise in August. Um, I can call her anytime she will answer so um, I just wanted to give you a quick update um, don't beat yourself up that's what I'm that's my goal from right now is this this next couple of weeks is to not beat myself up over some things the choices that I make so see you later bye guys sorry bye <laughs> Hi guys, just a quick note um, to go on the last of my video from the last time. Um, uh, I had friends come in from out of town that I haven't seen for a while and I told her because she's been my weight loss buddy before, um, I told her I was getting surgery and the, one of the things she said to me was, you're not fat enough. Um, she is five foot. I'd say 11, 10. She's really tall. And um, so that, so, um, so I talked to her about, sorry, I got a little pop up on my thing. I talked to her about, um, I said, well, I have this BMI and it's over 40. I have comorbidities, um, the high cholesterol and the depression. And, um, I said, so, you know, she she was taking it personal, like it was an offense against her. She goes, I'm happy for you, but see, I guess her mom got RNY recently, 
and she felt hopeless. Like if her mom can't lose the weight by herself, then she can't. And then um, our, uh, our other friend went on Metafast and lost 80, 90 pounds and looks fabulous. And so she's taking this personally. So then I saw her the next day and she's like, so I went home and I calculated my BMI and it was only 39. And it was like 38.9 or something like that. And she goes, so I said, so technically you don't qualify for insurance. I mean, for off my insurance because your BMI is lower than mine. Just because I hide my weight different than you doesn't mean I don't have a problem. Um, I think that was an eye-opening experience for her and for me. Um, I just find it funny how people are so, so, have vast differences um, in how they think and approach things. And I didn't think that she'd be one to take it personal, um, but she did and it's fine. Um, she's still supportive of me, but I just wanted to um, let you, I just wanted to tell you that funny little story. Bye.